Salam alaikum. Okay, so I'm back on in order to tell the truth to people. Um, you know, it's actually my birthday today, and I have been up all night um, reading something that has been very disturbing. And I would like nothing more than on my birthday. The greatest birthday wish would be for people to see the truth of what I talk about and change their ways. Because I'm going to be very, very honest. I see how a lot of people are losing their souls at this very moment in time in history. And it is because the media is run by Satan and incredibly evil people in charge. And I want to show you how it makes people lose their souls. It literally makes people hate others for no reason and really shows the darkest part of the human nature. Sorry, I have to be on this because um, everybody's asleep, but I just have to do this um, in order to wake people up because this is extremely concerning to me is that a lot of people are going to lose their souls to the dark side, to hate. So, I don't know if you can see this. Probably not. On Facebook, there is a video by Milo Yiannopoulos. It sounds very Greek. Um, and his video is a short clip of women um, looks like American women, all sorts of different colors, um, actually doing the Islam bow that we normally do in prayer. But his headline, his headline is extremely concerning. As you can see here, oh, it says feminists in America begging for Sharia law. Now, nowhere in this, head, in this video is there any indication that they are begging for Sharia law. They are simply, and I'm sure you could probably go on YouTube and find it, but they are simply just bowing and me having a, a good grasp on reality, understand that when I'm watching this clip, I actually see a bunch of women demonstrating that there should be no fear in Islam and they are uh, taking part in it as trying to show solidarity and trying to bring peace instead of Islamophobia. So I wanted to talk about this because I'm going to read some very disturbing comments, but I'm doing this to be a mirror for America to show that your ignorance, okay, so all you non-Muslims and your American, um, your ignorance of Islam is actually causing you to lose your soul daily. And I'm going to explain why. Because the media portrays Islam a certain way. And when you have no education and no knowledge about Islam firsthand, what happens is you rely on the media to formulate your opinions of Islam. And it has caused this in people. Now this is not going to be pretty and I'm not trying to incite hate from the Muslim community against these people, okay? This is simply to show their comments as a mirror to them, to show how absolutely ignorant they truly are. Now keep in mind that there was nothing in the clip to show any type of 
begging for Sharia law, which doesn't make any sense to uh, an intelligent Muslim. Um, they were simply just bowing down. It was a short clip of them. And I believe the protest was in Chicago um, underneath the um, the Picasso statue in front of the Daily Center. I can tell that. So, so this is a clip of them just showing solidarity and just being you know, peaceful, maybe some of them were Muslims, maybe some of them were not, but they were just showing that, you know, hey, there's nothing to fear about Islam, I'm bowing to the same God as the Christian God, the Jewish God, and here are the comments afterwards. I mean, my gosh, there's like 21,000 comments, so I'm not going to read all of them, but I am going to read quite a few, because I really want to show the amount of ignorance in America and see if we can change that. Here we go. I wish every single one of those women would be forced to visit a country that practices Sharia law and see how many rights that they so call riot for is handed to them. What is the obsession with the left and Islam? They claim Christianity is too conservative and then love the most conservative religion out there. Here it is. Try wearing your pussy hat where they come from. I guess it'll keep your hair in place when your head is rolling on the dirt. Shaking my head. Okay, so now we understand. This is a definite show of solidarity because this clip was taken during the Women's March in Chicago um, against Trump's um, election. So this was when all the women marched together and they wore the pink hats, the pussycat hats with the little ears. They were trying to make, um, make a comment regarding Trump's allegations for saying that he could, you know, grab any pussy that he wanted. So this was definitely just the Women's March in Chicago. So here they are saying, wow, Sharia law, where a man can have four wives, but a woman can only have one husband. And if she chooses to have an affair, they could put her to trial and beheaded because that's equality for both males and females. How brainwashed and brain dead these women are. Stupid is as stupid does. And you can't fix stupid, but these women will regret their decision. Clueless, you have no rights, research rights, for those under Sharia law, law ladies. Here it is. <laughs> Feminists deep down are looking for an alpha male since they're probably surrounded by snowflake betas. That's really no other way to explain the desire for Sharia law. Here it is. Idiots. In this age where information is everywhere, how do these dumbasses not know what Sharia law is? The level of ignorance is overwhelming. Well, Eileen, I would say that your level of ignorance is actually staggering to me. Um, Beth says, a woman in that ludicrous hat supporting a group that would see her in a burqa married to a man who has the right to beat her. Now, if that doesn't perfectly demonstrate the lack of beliefs and principles on the left, I don't know what does. Um, oh, Kathy, why don't they move to the Middle Eastern countries where they practice Sharia law? I'd gladly pay for them to go. Special kind of stupid they are. <laughs> Feminists are too stupid to breathe. Laugh out loud. Feminists too stupid to know what they're fighting for. Shake my head like a Pied Piper and his followers. Here we go. This makes, oh, S Sidhant said, this makes zero fucking sense. Their heads aren't properly covered. The poses are absolutely incorrect. And they think they're being good feminists by embracing diversity. Diversity that would not allow them to step in the place of worship, nor allow them to drive or leave the house without a related man, and basically not allow them the equal rights they fight for. What is wrong with these effing lunatics? I should stop swearing. But these are these people's comments. Um, I don't like to wish bad things on people, but they deserve the beatings coming to them. They'll have to design mutilated versions of their pink hats. This is by Amanda. How sweet. And she's like hugging her husband. She has like a smiling face and she's a white blonde woman. And oh my goodness, like that comment is just beyond shameful. 
Oh, Michael says, if you beg for Sharia law, then go live in Afghanistan and see how you like it, or Egypt, Sudan, Iran. Commit adultery as a woman and see how tolerant they are of you while they hurl stones at you until you die, or if you decide to leave the religion, they cut your head off. Oh, here's funny. You know, I find it funny that these comments are all calling these women stupid asses when I feel like these people come completely followed a headline without actually knowing the real information behind this. Okay, William says, stupid asses have never been to Iraq. I've been in the military. My name's Becky. My husband is William. We're both stationed in the sandbox. Um, the soldiers asked the man why his little girls were out there not being taken care of. He said, we feed them like the animals. <sighs> Oh, gosh. He said that there were little girls chained up and could not walk, talk, or naked. You see, I laugh my ass out when females say they want Sharia law. What happens when they're marry a Muslim and they have children and their daughters are raped by their father or relative? You see, these bleeding hearts need to be shipped to the Middle East and see what the real Sharia law is, stupid asses. Boy, she's very ignorant of the Quran because that's not Islam to rape your own daughters. In fact, that's actually a forbidden, um, it's a forbidden commandment from Allah to say, you know, you can never ever have sex with a relative of yours. Oh, what's this one? Oh, Steve says, feminist American women begging for Sharia law is like black people begging for the return of slavery. Feminists and liberal Democrats are mentally deranged. Oh, here we go. Gail, what a bunch of morons covered from head to toe, can't drive, vote, go outside without male account accompaniment, spend money without approval, can't have a job, get murdered if you are raped, idiots. Oh my gosh. So let me get to one of the comments that, okay, I'm telling you, there's like 20,000 comments on here. And I only found five of them that actually are written by smart people that actually understand what's going on. Hmm. I'm telling you, there's a lot. It's all fun and games until they get raped by Islam's law is sent and they're sentenced to death by Stony because it's their fault they got raped in the first place. Boy, that's very nice, Kim. Uh Okay. Oh Todd. If anyone deserves Sharia law, it's feminist. Nothing like a big slap in the face of reality to help you see what a complete idiot you are. For any feminist who doesn't get, who does get to experience a firsthand savior whining for someone who gives a damn. Hmm. Uh, here we go. Oh, this is incredibly ignorant of Ali. The fact is beyond the praying part, they know nothing of Sharia law. They did the Quran read to them, and what a maniac, perverted, man, mad man Muhammad was. This is not peaceful religion. Their punishments for crimes are extremely violent. Way to go, libtards. This is what a lack of education has gotten you. No, I'm sorry. This is what a lack of education has gotten you. Gosh, a lot of hate. Let's see you walk into prayer over a rack with a pink vagina hat, your hair hanging down with your fatherless kid running around you won't make it out alive contrary to what you believe muslims detest you <laughs> they are using you to further their cause you f effing assholes are going to place our country in a world of shit wow she seems very angry <sighs> okay finally ah a Light at the End of the Tunnel by Michael. I want to thank you, Michael. It literally says in white text near the bottom, Americans joined Muslims praying, and this headline makes no sense at all. There is no indication that these women are feminists, nor is there any indication that these women are advocating Sharia law. Now, his comment got four likes, but that is the first out of, I mean, all of those that I read. No one even 
bothered to look deeper into what the video was actually about. And they followed a headline that this Milo Yanagopoulos guy posted in order to incite people. I can go on and on and on, and it just gets very, very, very sad. I counted, so I read about a hundred of those comments because I was just trying to observe to see, well, where, where are people at with their knowledge about Islam? You know, there's been a few years now about the idea of Islamophobia needs to stop and people need to actually pick up the Quran to stop the hate. So I was reading the comments, trying to observe and see what was going on. And I swear, I counted eight, eight comments out of hundreds of comments about how either feminists are all dummies or Muslims are all murderers and Sharia law is something that these feminists want. I mean, this is something that doesn't even make any sense. And I'm telling you right now, Americans, not just Americans, but people around the world, if you keep on making the grave mistake of insulting a religion without actual true knowledge and I'm talking about true wisdom and you need to be honest with yourself because you can't just go online and all of a sudden feel you understand a religion I'm talking about you actually having sincere um, thirst to understand something if you are somebody that has no knowledge about a religion if you have no knowledge about Islam and you talk badly about it. That is a negative observance about your soul as a person. That is your character being shown to God. I have seen so many Christian comments on here which are really, really sad. All about how just very ignorant comments saying that Allah is Satan and that we need Jesus only and they don't understand what Allah is and what it means in the Arabic language. They've never ever picked up the Quran to read and see that it supports the majority of the Bible. We're getting into some serious times of the tribulations in this world. And I see it. I see it very clearly. People are going to lose their souls if they do not educate themselves. And if they do not release the anger in their hearts. They are going to lose their souls to the dark side, to Satan, to this energy that exists in the universe that is trying to corrupt you. These people don't sound like good people. And yes, I'm telling you, if you write that way online and you write that way about perfect strangers that are doing something in a video and you want them beaten and you call them, you know, effing assholes and go to the country and get beheaded. If you are commenting in that way, the angels and God are looking at you and noticing your soul. These are very important times, people. Do not let the media drag you down to the dark side. You need to look further at everything before you make a decision. That video was actually wrong and inaccurate, and it was just it to incite people. And I hate to say it, but 20,000 people followed it. They followed that hate blindly in their hearts. 
And there were about eight people that actually commented and said, wait a minute, this video has nothing to do with Sharia law. It doesn't look like they're begging for Sharia law. It looks like they're just demonstrating a prayer and maybe they're just doing it to show solidarity with Muslims. You need to thank people. I don't know how much longer you will have to think. I feel it in my soul that you are in severe danger of losing your soul to the dark side, to hate and ignorance because you refuse to fill your brain with wisdom and knowledge about something that you don't understand. And that is a test on mankind. More than ever do I feel that Islam is the right path. And yes, I believe that there has been many doors that God has made for any believer that wants to knock on the door and seek for God. But there is so much hate towards Islam, so much ignorance that is being propagated towards people to have from the media, from entertainment, that this proves that Islam is actually the true path. Now, like I said, there's many paths and I see truth in all paths that are truly in devotion to worship one God so that we can continue this unity, unification process, coming together and not fighting and arguing over the different gods that mankind creates. So any religion that looks to the sky and questions their existence and appreciates their existence and their life, understanding there is more to this material world than what they see, then you are my brother or my sister. And I see that. But I'm asking you, if you are a true devotee to God and you belong to other religions and you can see the unity consciousness that exists within all religions and how they do point to the same things, I'm asking you to speak out to your friends that are ignorant, to anybody who makes some kind of ignorant comment about Islam, and save their souls from damnation. Because if they continue making these judgments, carrying this hate like a poison in their hearts without knowledge and without wisdom about Islam. When the end times come, they are not going to be happy about what they see. Because all the truth that they denied will be thrown in their faces and the angels will not be gentle with them because they have not been gentle with others and that is the truth you get on earth actually you get in the hereafter what you have given on earth if you have given nothing but hate and anger in the last few years of your existence, you will receive that hate and that anger back. And if you have given some ounce of goodness, you will receive that as well. But it is truly about what you give. And it is all reflected back to you. These people 
that have given nothing but hate and ignorance, blind hate. I mean, they have no knowledge. This is not wisdom. This is, they're calling people dumbasses and stupid. They are overwhelmingly stupid and ignorant. I mean, this is, this is beyond ignorance. This is a lack of just complete education. And maybe the Quran's right in the idea that when, when someone is in so much denial of the signs and are you know, refusing to look, they will be covered with a veil over their eyes and just put into even more blindness. I mean, I, I can't even explain how ignorant some of these people seem. And I have to control myself to not let it affect me because I don't want to become a hateful person. And I don't want to hate them. In fact, I just feel very sorry for them. And I feel extremely upset at the lack of of education that they have and it's just a simple thing like as soon as you educate yourself you then build understanding in your heart and that in turn builds empathy and compassion and relations and connections with people that's how you build a good heart is by education and wisdom these people have a lot to learn and I hope that they learn it while they're in this lifetime. And I hope that every single one of them repents to God, saying, oh my goodness, I was so wrong to call these women this way or to make fun of Islam in this way without having knowledge. If they don't, all of that hate is going to be put back onto them when they do die because we all have to go sometime. So people really need to start thinking about the consequences of their choices and their actions. Um, this is bad. This is, this is, this is really bad. I didn't know that there was so much ignorance in the world. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's actually really staggering. Um, so my message is actually to, try to awaken those that are still asleep um, and hopefully they happen to come on my channel um, and they don't know anything about Islam and they hear these comments and they're like oh that does sound kind of bad and then they go and read the Quran to actually see that whatever people think Sharia law is that is cultures and traditions that existed before the Quran revelations and then kind of got mixed in with Islam by men in charge of those particular Muslim countries. It is not commandments within Islam. And that is where people are going to have to learn to educate themselves on is to be able to, to know the difference between the universal isms inside of Islam and the truths behind the religion versus the culture and the traditions that have been passed down and are so different. I mean, they were talking about, you know, genital mutilation and stuff like that. I mean, these are things that Reza, um, Reza, um, what is it? Reza Aslam, I think that's his name. Um, he was talking about how, you know, in front of the news anchors, he was like, female genital, mutil um, genital, genital mutilation does not happen in every Muslim country. This is a cultural thing that has nothing to do with Islam. And it's time people get that fact right. Uh, because they just sound like ignorant, uneducated. Ooh, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to sound mean, but oh my goodness, they just are overwhelmingly bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, if you're one of these people, I pray that you come onto my video and learn from your mistake. You know, learn to see the truth. Because we all make mistakes. We do. I am not perfect and we have all made our mistakes. But there comes a time when the truth comes right in your face 
And that is your trial of your soul. That if you have so much ego and so much hate in your heart, you will be blind to that truth. So this is the moment in time where this is a testament to who you are to see, are you loving enough? Are you wise enough to actually search for higher wisdom and to repent if you do make the mistakes and, and have hated Islam or have, you know, been, um, you know, cruel towards people who are Muslims. This is your time. And I would say the same exact thing for all people who are persecuted in their religions. Like, yes, like people need to stop harassing each other and persecuting each other in their religions. I mean, the people that hate on Christians, I will do the same thing. If I see people start slandering Christians and talking really nasty about them, I will do the same thing and be like, um, you know, so and so, you know, this is this is not right. And you need to check your facts because you are spitting out inaccurate knowledge. And it is time because education and beauty is what will save the world. Education is gaining the wisdom to elevate yourself to a higher consciousness and understanding of each other that will promote dialogue and better connection and ultimately peace. And beauty will save the world because when your heart is open, when you choose to be kind and empathetic towards another person, you truly are showing a very beautiful side of your human nature. And we need more beauty in the world because we have a lot of ugliness, a lot of ugliness in society. So we need more beauty in the world. And it's beauty and wisdom that will truly save the human species. If we don't have beauty and if we don't have wisdom, we're a dead species. There's nothing then that makes us worth living. I mean, then I could see that Allah and the angels would definitely destroy us if there is no wisdom in human beings any longer. If we literally become so dumb of a society that we truly become so ignorant and unwilling to learn and in denial of the truth, I can definitely see the angels and God wiping us out. We would cease to exist on our own. I mean, we'd just be too stupid. If you ever see the movie Idiocracy, you know what I'm talking about. That dumbing down of society is what can truly destroy a species. And then if we don't have beauty, well, then we have nothing but ugliness. And truly, what is worth living then if we have no beauty in the world? So, I'm telling you now, if you are concerned about your soul, if you are concerned about living your life in happiness in this lifetime and in the hereafter, if you are concerned about reaching heaven, I'm telling you now, get rid of the hate, turn off the media, or at least find some media sources that are not biased and truly look for the real information. Go to the source. Read the Quran on your own in a quiet room with nothing, nobody else to tell you anything. And contemplate and reflect on the words. And if you truly have a question because something seems a little off to you, search for the answers. Don't immediately think, oh, this is evil. Remember, take it in the context of the historical times of 600 AD. Do that with all of the religious books, and then you will find the truth within. This is your chance, humanity. You need to prove that you are a species full of wisdom and beauty. And if you don't, 
then there's nothing that can save us and nothing worth saving either. Because as the earth and the animals are dying, and even though we are trying to replenish and rebuild, our great barrier leaf that has been 25 million years old is now... Um, it's now decided to be dead by the scientists as well as there's only a hundred thousand giraffes left in the world um, we have bumblebees on the endangered species list there are so many animals that are dying because of humans unconscious ability to awaken to what they are doing if we continue on becoming a species that lacks the wisdom and is just fueled by hate and a, and emotional reaction we're not going to survive there's nothing then worth saving if we don't have beauty of the heart and we don't have wisdom of the mind so there's my warning you guys can go online and 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 look at this um, post yourself um, but 20,000 comments worth of total ignorance about Islam and what these women were doing in Chicago is just beyond me. I mean, to even have that that level of ignorance in America is just it's 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 shocking and scary. And it proves to me exactly what the Quran said that there will come a time towards the end when people will blindly follow Satan and his minions into the fire and there will be two different realities experience experience excuse me there'll be one reality of those that have followed Satan and his minions into the fire their faces will be blackened with ash and fire and soot because basically like the revelations the Bible and also what the Quran describes is that our world will be destroyed by fire by columns of smoke and fire um, interesting, the ring of fire is starting to uh, will awaken. We had some volcano um, activity the other day. So just keep this in mind. You know, our world is a temporary place. This is the time now to spiritually pre prepare because those that are in denial have such stubborn egos and hate in their hearts. Well, when that time comes and the world ends in this fiery destruction their faces will be blackened their faces will be filled of that soot and that ash and they will be left in that destruction but the other people that have acknowledged the prophets the messengers the angels and all the books that have been brought down to humanity and have led a good life their faces will be filled of glowing light and happiness because our faith will be affirmed within our hearts and we will see a different reality. We will see the gates of heaven open up and the angels will say, Assalamu alaikum. So, I hope everybody can join all the believers in heaven. It is time. It is time to prepare and get that hate out of your hearts. See you in the next video. Salam.